by this man and his paintings breathe with life. So, congrats, Jazz. This is my first exhibit of this work that I've ever seen, that I've been to, and I'm an instant fan. I, I find it poignant and at the same time exhilarating. In, in the work. It's, it's I'm, I'm, I'm a great admirer of his enormously gifted vision. He's just got uh, <clears throat> something where he can capture the spirit of a moment, the spirit of a movement, the spirit of a people, uh, the spirit of individuals, and, and, and I have been a, a big champion of his for a long time. Jazz work is uh, the uh, the people in the painting. It, it looks like they they are looking at you in the eyes. It looks like if you look here, for instance, it looks like the person. It looks like the person is looking at you straight in the eyes. That's pretty amazing. Never seen that before. Not until. Um, Today. today. Well, not today. Actually, I saw one of his paintings and then I, I, I learned that they were going to have the show. It's brilliant. You have letters. My turn. And some of the paintings <laughs> in the Cotton Series. Yeah. Okay. Now, Where are those letters from? Now, th th those are actually documents, uh, actual documents that I bought during slavery. And slavery? What I did. Yeah, so I have the actual so documents. So you, you bought them at like an auction or something? Actually, I have a connection. <laughs> and I bought these a documents, right? Connection. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and when I do get get my home or my my atelier, they're going to be wonderf wonderfully framed and put up. But for the paintings, I made uh, xeroxes, and then I resin them to the canvas, so that you know to bring. So the actual more... pieces of the letters ins is what inspired each particular. Yes. Um. Um. The um. The uh, the one that you'll see out there. Her name was Jemima. On the receipt, it she was three hundred dollars. You know? Wow! And I and and I, I inscribed her name in the canvas with the receipt. Wow! And so, you know, most of these women are women that raised America, for the most part. They raise the whites. They raise they raise their children when they got finished with the white children. And um, I just want to paint the dignity of these women and I'm a representation of that. It's almost and they had to be they had to separate from the fact that, that they were only valued that is amazing. for a small amount of money. And more importantly, this whole collection, now I'll say this to the camera, <laughs> this is to the world, we must re-examine and utterly omit referring to them as slaves. Because these were enslaved people. <laughs> Captives, so you, you think it's the word slave and I think has slave a has a derogatory? It's not derogatory, but you can assimilate that with chicken, a cow, mm -hmm. a slave. Mm -hmm. And so to grow it's from that, product. I see the I see the generation today. And if you don't come from anything, where the hell are you gonna go? So if you are they an are enslaved people. person, well then or you can start from there. Well, let me ask you about your ballerina, uh, your ballerinas. They have so much movement and so much grace. It looks like they're about to jump out at the canvas engine. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to do the ballet? Well, actually, she's collection. standing right here. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> well, she always I love dance as a, a, a you know, I was a kinesiology major, so mm -hmm. I love movement. And an ex gymnast, believe it or not. But I um, but one thing in this, I uh, was invited to the um, Alvin Ailey uh, mm -hmm. event. Why well, you donated? Uh, it kind of came to mind watching yeah. the, the pictures. Yeah, and I went down there and saw this dance, and we were all blown away, you know. And I thought to, you know, get some of that inspiration on campus, and it's ongoing. Actually, I am very familiar with Chaz's work. Chaz donated a picture for a fundraiser we were doing at the Music Center to raise money for Center Dance Association. And we auctioned it off and it brought in a lot of money for our Center Dance Association. And I think that it's really cool to be able to look at his work and um, when you look at the faces, it almost feels like you're looking at family.
looks like it's somebody who's familiar. Somebody so.